before Kim Jong Un met his friend for life Dennis Rodman and was poked fun of in the film The Interview, before racking up one of the worst human rights records in history, killing political rivals, personal acquaintances and innocent civilians alike, before he rose to power as the first dictator to be born and raised in North Korea, Kim Jong Un grew up in Pyongyang, the grandson of authoritarian dictator Kim Il Sung who was worshipped as a living god. But as the fourth child of Kim Jong Il, Kim had little reason to suspect he would ever rise to the top of the ruling party. He spent almost a decade under an assumed identity studying out in Switzerland, but most of the time he would skip class to play basketball. Despite his lack of ambition, he would go on to become one of the world's most powerful people after his brother made a very big mistake. My name is Michael McCrudden and we are documenting the life of Kim Jong Un prior to fame here for you on Before They Are Famous. Also guys, be sure to let me know in the comments down below whose bio you want me to do next. Kim Jong-un was born in Pyongyang on January 8, 1983, the child of Kim Jong-il, the grandson of then dictator and founder of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Kim Il-sung. Whether his surname was later changed to Jong-un or if that they misreported what his name was at birth is anyone's guess. North Korea, they are extremely secretive and it's hard to figure out exactly what's going on with them. For example, it is actually documented that Kim was born a year earlier than they tell us now. Why they change that around? Does it make it more distinguished? I have no idea. Growing up, Kim's life was very different from that of a typical North Korean. While the country dealt with the widespread poverty, Kim didn't want for anything. His grandfather kept foreign news, culture, and education from the masses. But Kim was allowed to study abroad, where he was immersed in Western culture. He studied at the Leibfeld Steinsholz School in Switzerland under a false name from at least 1991 until his abrupt departure in 2000. He was shy, bad at school, good at sports, and popular amongst his classmates. Also his grades, they were absolutely terrible, but hey, who needs school when your father's a dictator? Kim was obsessed with the NBA. He played basketball regularly and spent hours making meticulous pencil drawings of Michael Jordan. Prior to 2011, Kim's older brother Kim Jong Nam, he was favored to become the successor and become the dictator of North Korea, but then he got himself in trouble when they caught him attempting to enter Japan on a fake passport. Why? Well, he wanted to go to Tokyo's Disneyland. From 2002 to 2007, Kim studied at Kim Il Sung University, a leading officer training school in Pyongyang. In 2009, Kim Jong Il gave Kim the title of Brilliant Comrade. He then had his embassy staff pledge allegiance to his son. He then had a new song composed titled Song of Praise, which was then sung by the staff to Kim Jong Un. In 2010, Kim was made the equivalent of a four star general despite having no military experience. When his father died in 2011, Kim Jong Un took over. Once Kim Jong Un took over, it's not like things really changed. People in Korea continued to die. Tens of thousands continued to die because of famine. He wasn't helping them out. At least four senior government officials, all close confidence of his fathers and chosen as his advisors have since been demoted or they've disappeared. He executed his uncle with a machine gun. He also did away with all his uncle's relatives. He had an ex-girlfriend who he dropped a bomb on her orchestra. Yeah, and there was another guy who just got it way worse. Being killed by an anti-air gun. Now Kim, he likes the finer things. He smokes Vice St. Laurent cigarettes, drinks Johnny Walker scotch, and drives a Mercedes Benz. He is entertained by pleasure squads, which involve a lot of young women, very pretty, all under the age of 25, and they're all virgins. They need to be available on demand, and when they reach the age over 25, well then they need to retire or go do something else because he doesn't want them. He raised tensions with neighboring countries South Korea and Japan. He even threatened the United States with preemptive nuclear attacks. On February of 2013, Kim Jong Un found a little bit of happiness when Dennis Rodman visited North Korea. Yeah, and he's been back since. Rodman called Kim by the affectionate nickname The Marshal and has since told him you've got a friend for life. And the rest of the story guys, well you know the story because this is Before They Are Famous. My name is Michael McCrudd, thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. I've done a few people in politics including Bernie Sanders, I've done Donald Trump, I've done Kanye West. See how it goes back to entertainment? That's the world we live in. I've also done Trevor Noah. I've done so many bios on here. Be sure to browse, be sure to subscribe, let me know who's next and I'll see you guys in another video.